guys. Mega Man! Mega Man! <laughs> oh god, I was not even expecting or hoping for this. They didn't, I mean, like, I didn't think they would actually go back to just doing kind of a, kind of this version of Mega Man ever again, because, you know, everybody likes 2D, but, oh my sweet Jesus, this is so great, this is so, oh! <laughs> I want to cry. The Lord knows if to cry. The Lord knows if to cry a lot this week. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Oh, oh Jesus. Yes. Yes. Guys, guys, this is I, I don't like I don't even know what to do with myself right now. It's like Jesus. New Mega Man game. Capcom finally did it. They're actually making a new Mega. They are actually making a new Mega Man game. I'm actually pretty happy. Oh my god, though. Oh my god. <laughs> I never thought in a million years, in a million years, though, that they would ever, and I mean ever, 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 ever. Make another Mega Man game because it, I thought they were so afraid that KG and Fune is gone, so they didn't just feel like doing another Mega Man game. So I guess the fear, the fear of them um, doing a uh, new Mega Man game is gone. And to be honest, I like, I like the mighty, I like mighty, mighty number, mighty, mighty gun burst. I mean, I still have it on my Switch, so you know, I, I actually like, I actually like that. <laughs> I squealed at the middle of the lunchroom while watching the stream. Well, cross trash. I mean, dude, just be. Dude, I squealed, and I'm a grown-ass man. Uh, I squealed, and I'm a grown-ass man, dude. It's all good. It's all good, dude. It's all fucking good. Oh, someone actually put Bubsy as a list of good things. Good, Jesus. Oh, look. Look. It looks like Money Over Nine. The voice is horrible. I want another eight big Mega Man. This dude's saying, "What? Where? Shut up! Shut up and just be grateful. You're getting another Mega Man game, and it isn't dead, as we thought he could have been." Oh, hey, it's Swift. You are correct. And anybody, and any of the. Any people that are tripping about 8-bit Mega Man games, guys, I was getting sick of it after a while. I get it. We all love 8-bit Mega Man. We all love 8-bit Mega Man. We all love classic Sonic. But I feel like these games need to at least look a little bit different. I mean, with classic Sonic, he can stay the way he is in Sonic Mania. But I feel like we've done 8-bit Mega Man too much. I get it. We all love 8-bit Mega Man. I love 8-bit Mega Man myself. Fuck, I have, like, a complete collection of, like, Mega Man games on a, on a, on a flash drive. Okay? Jesus. <laughs> but we need... But what I'm trying to say, guys, is that if any of you are really tripping about 8-bit Mega Man, y'all need to calm the fuck down, for one. 
Remember, when I say calm the fuck down, I mean calm down. It's just my way of saying calm down. Remember that. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I have to explain everything now. Because nowadays, I just, nowadays, I just figure it out. I, I'm not clear enough. Don't even ask me how, don't even ask me how that even started. Trust me. It's some, it's some real stupid shit that kind of went down last week. I, I ain't gonna bore you with the details. But, um, yeah, some, some shit did, like, really pop off. But, you know, it's cool. New Mega Man. New Mega Man. The Blue Bomber's back, people. I don't even know why Mega Man is called the Blue Bomber. Like, shouldn't that be Bomberman's thing? Like, like how Bomberman's like the white bomber because of his little bomber hood or head or whatever. I just never always, I never understood the Blue Bomber thing. Mmm. But I am so, so happy. And I want to do the movies again because... Oh, man. Because this, this was funny. This was truly funny. And I want to, I want to go back and do that again. The thing about my computer is, though... It's, the disk drive's kind of finicky. It's really finicky. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I also came here to talk to you guys about um, the new Spider-Man cartoon. I finally sit, I finally sat down, I finally sat my ass down, and watched it. And. Uh, Personally, I don't get what the I don't get what the hubbub's about. Literally, they're doing different. They're doing different yet. They're doing the same yet different. And Peter talking the way he does. You guys gotta remember, Spider Man before he became, before he became Spider Man was an awkward dork. Ergo. Peter, even though Peter's really smart, he'll act like an awkward dork for a little bit. This is Spider-Man. This is like an early version of Spider-Man, so he's not really going to be like the, oh, the quippy, the quippy dude we all know. He's going to be a little awkward. He's going to be a little bit of a dork. And that's what I like because it's different, but it makes sense given who, given who Peter Parker is. That's what I'm saying. I know a lot of you are like, you know, because I've heard like a lot of people were tripping out about it. And I was like, and, look, and guys, trust me, like the thing that really gets me mad though is, you know, every time I talk about like things like this, some per like a certain person thinks I'm whining. I'm like, how am I whining if I'm just talking about people and shit and all that shit? Whining is like, you're just really, you're just mo you're moaning and groaning about what a person does. Me, you're talking, with me, I'm talking about, I'm talking about what people are doing, but I'm not fucking moaning and groaning about it. Ugh. I swear, guys, last, last week after the stuff that happened on Tuesday, which was really fucking emotional for me, Let's just say some bullshit went down, and some bullshit went down, and I can't really say anything else about it, but it was some bullshit. But hey, I'm back, kids. I'm back, kids. I'm doing what I do best. Re reacting to videos and just having a good, just having a good old time. Ugh. 
<sighs> it kind of sucks that Bibby is gone because, you know, I had plans to release. I had plans to release. I have plans to release Sonic Freedom Fighters on VidMe. But you know, it's all good. But it is good. Will Mario be the voice of Link? What the f Radical Zona, no! <laughs> don't do it! Jail play Doki Doki Literacy Club, some shit be going down. Monica ain't. Monica is a nice person. She a creepy motherfucker. She a creepy motherfucker. I swear, if like the person, whoever, like, if the person, like the guy who ever made Doki Doki Literacy Club ever watches my thing and, um, and I like put the and I put my name in like Bugsy Bugsy No Name, and she's like, "So you think I'm creepy?" I'm gonna be like, "Oh shit, oh shit!" The creator knows I've been talking shit about Monica. Fuck, fuck my salad. <laughs> I say, folks, if you're gonna talk shit about people. So the voice of Mario wanted but to I want to say this to people. Said, no. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at why the voice of Mario was told. Okay, let me just tell you one thing. Ooh. Charles Martinet is going to be the voice of Link? Oh, that's what that meant. Anyways, before I get... Before... Before I start... Before we get into this, I want to just say uh, one thing. I want to say one thing, and one thing only. If you're going to talk shit on the internet, be prepared to deal with a lot of backlash. You need to understand, if you're going to be doing this, you are going to be facing a lot of heat. Regardless. Like, a lot of people think, like, oh, you can't, you know. I mean, if you are going to talk shit, just understand. Like, understand. Uh, you really need to understand that if you can't back that shit up, you're going, you're going, you're going to get the, you're going to get, like, the brunt work of hate on you. You know? That's the kind of, that's the kind of thing I need you all to understand. So if I ever, like, talk about any one of you, you, you pro. You know, in my eyes, you probably fucked up towards me. So, remember that. I don't do it to be malicious. I do it to freaking reflect. Remember, guys. I feel like I gotta talk about that now because everything that popped off last week needs to be said. It needs... It, you guys need to be able to understand me just a little bit more. Because, god dang. Because, god dang. Like, last week was just horrible. On a lot of different ways. No. So this guy does a really, really good job voicing Mario, but I'm just surprised to why he was told no. But I am looking forward to figuring that out. Series creator Shigeru Miyamoto has turned down multiple requests to give the character a real voice. Grunts and shouts don't count, and that includes refusing a plea from Charles Martinet. I'm pretty sure I screwed up his name, so forgive me. But the voice actor for Mario Martinet tells the story of pleading with the developer to let him play Link with Miyamoto again holding the character silent. Dang, so he told the voice of Mario that he couldn't voice Link, but it's not too bad because I feel like Link having a voice would just be too weird. Like, it's okay for Zelda to have a voice. I think Link should have a voice. I mean, I'm tired of Link always being a goddamn mute. Yeah, I said it. I'm fucking tired of it. I understand it. It makes sense. But... I think Link should talk. I mean, I know Nintendo is so afraid of this, but I feel like Link should talk. I feel like Mario should talk as well. It's about time. I'm just, like, Nintendo is so afraid of changing their characters even a little bit, and this is, like, so very minor. You know, Mario does kind of say sentences all the way sometimes. 
and sometimes in promotional stuff, I really feel like Mario should be able to talk. Peach, Peach talks. Freaking Bowser basically talks in grunts now, but you can actually understand what he's saying. I feel like it needs to happen. Heck, there was a point. There was a point where, you know, the Sonic characters had to talk. Why can't the Nintendo characters? And don't give me that bullshit. Where is it? Don't give me that bullshit. Like, well, that's Sega and this is Nintendo. Well, Nintendo needs to change their practices. They did it with Super Mario Odyssey. They did it with Purple Wild. Why not give these characters who don't really speak all that much actual things to say? Because I think Breath of the Wild would be a lot more powerful than it already is if Link actually, at the very end of it, actually says, Yes, I remember you, or, So that I have something I've been wanting to tell you. Something like that. I know, we're all a little bit afraid since the CDI. The CDI and the, you know, the Legend of Zelda show, which was, eh. And that's more of a guilty pleasure of mine. So is the Mar Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I love it because I love them both. Because I love the Super Mario Brothers Super Show and the Legend of Zelda cartoon because they're both so <laughs> they're both so bad but enjoyable. And I know we're probably you know we're all probably afraid of that because you know CDI Link and um, excuse me, Princess Link. I know you're. I know we shouldn't have Link. I know you guys are like, no, we shouldn't have Link talking. I know Nintendo is afraid of that, but I feel like it's time that Link talks. You know, even in the games, they, you know, the characters do acknowledge that Link, yeah, he does talk. We just never, they never just show it, but he does talk. He's not a, he's not a full-on mute. That's the thing about Link. But we never hear him talk. That's the thing. There is signs of him talking. But we never hear him talk. So he's not a full-on mute. But Link having a voice would just be a little too weird in my opinion. Link will definitely get a voice sometime in the future, but I just want to know who will voice act for him. And I bet the person would be super excited to be- Get Big Man Yana! I'm just going to say that right now. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going, to put that I'm going to put those cards on the table. Big Man Yana should totally voice Link. Just saying. Just fucking saying. It's on the table, okay? It's on the fucking table. There ain't nothing we can do about it. I said it. I said my piece about it. That's it. Be voicing Link? Because the character has never talked, and again, he all he does is make grunts and sounds and stuff like that. So, like, whoever did get to voice him would be super pumped up for that. What makes this even crazier is that Chose had to accept this, and we won't be hearing Link say it's a me, Link, in the next Legend of Zelda game. But some people do want him to have a voice. He will have one eventually, I'm pretty sure. But at least for now, Zelda has a voice. I don't, I don't remember Ganon having a voice, but maybe? No, I remember now, because playing Ganon in Smash Brothers, he never said one word of English ever. It's usually a text or just grunts and sounds just like Link. But yeah, guys, be sure to let me you guys in the I'm telling you, Ganon needs to have a voice because uh, let's just say I watch I watch a lot of Smash King and the person the person that really truly embodies Ganon's voice is motherfucking crazy. If you guys ever really watch Smash King and really uh, listen to that version again, like that person voicing Ganon. There is no doubt in my mind they couldn't get him to actually do Ganon's voice because he is that good. About this, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I think that's the actual dude that voices Ganon in Smash King. I'm sure. I think so. I'm. I got. I got double check later. But honestly. That's how I feel. I feel like Link needs to talk. We're at this point where Nintendo is really trying to shake their old ways. For the most part, not everything, but most things. And I feel like it's about time, you know? I feel like it's about time. And I've been watching, and I've been like,
really watching this thing called Two Guys. I was looking at the first chapter and the second chapter. And I'm like, okay, this is pretty good. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, folks. This, 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 everybody, eh, I really feel like Link needs to talk. Link really needs to talk. That's all I gotta say. Also, again, people, regardless of what people may say, what's the new Spider-Man cartoon? It is interesting to me in so many different ways. Even though they got the jackal, and you know, every time I think about the jackal, you know what I think about. I think about that fucking clone saga. Not the original one, the one that they did in the 90s. Because I, I need to clarify that too. I don't hate the original clone saga because that was okay. But when they tried to, when they, bring, when they brought it back, uh, they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I gotta be re I gotta be real with you. If you don't know what I'm t and if you don't know what the Colon Saga is, watch Linkara's videos on it. I swear to you, it basically has everything I have to say about the Colon Saga through Linkara almost. Like this is like word for word what I'd say if I was reviewing it. You know what I mean? But um, that's about it. Remember, kids, keep it chaotic. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back. We'll have some, we'll have some more laughs, but for right now, holy, did my, did my PlayStation just turn off? See you guys later. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back later. See you guys later.